Lions CV, happy Friday. Millwall have just completed their fifth first team summer signing of the season. Who's the daddy? It's John Daddy Mavardson, a 27-year-old winger slash striker, signs just in time to join up with the squad before they fly to Portugal this afternoon. Signed from Reading for a fee believed to be around three quarters of a million pound. What do we know about the Icelandic international striker? But Vardson started his career in his native Iceland plan for Selfoss and Viking before in 2016 sealing a move to Bundesliga's Kaiserslautern. He played only 15 times for Kaiserslautern, scoring two goals before in 2016 signing a three-year deal with Wolverhampton Wanderers for an undisclosed fee. In the 2016-17 season, but Vardson played 42 times for Wolverhampton Wanderers and scoring three goals, but for whichever reason, I'm not sure, he ended up leaving the club and joining Reading again for an undisclosed fee and again on a free year deal in 2017. If you look at Bavardson's stats on paper for Reading, they don't look fantastic. 53 games, scoring 14 goals. But last season, he absolutely started like a house on fire, scoring seven goals in his first 12 games with braces against Blackburn and Brentford. Before his season started to incorporate a few injury problems, he broke a bone in his back, which ruled him out for six weeks. And then not long after his return to first team football, a calf injury in February ruled him out for the rest of the season. So there you go, there's a little bit of Wikipedia history for you on the career of John Daddy but Varson. Now we're going to have my say on the signing. Hmm, difficult one. I don't want to be negative on any signings and I don't want to bring any negativity to the camp or to the fan base, but I've got to call it as I see it. I don't want to bury the geezer before he's kicked a ball. I'll wait at least 10 games before I start doing that. But all jokes aside, but Varson isn't a signing that is giving me a great deal of excitement. It isn't one I've got massive hopes of. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely hope I'm wrong. I hope, I hope I'm sitting here in a couple of weeks, couple of months saying, do you know what, I was wrong about Bavarsson, he's brilliant. Where does that leave us with strikers at the club numbers-wise? Tom Elliott's now injured, but as I said before, I think he's out of the picture. The forwards now, as, as I know it, as I'm aware at the club, are Tom Bradshaw, Matt Smith, Bavarsson and Aidan O'Brien. Will that now pave the way for Aidan O'Brien to leave the club? I'm not sure. Or will Aidan O'Brien be that full striker? And, and, and obviously the manager likes competition. He likes competitiveness. And he's looking for players who want to play for their places. But for me, I'll be honest, that four is not strong enough. I said this the other day and I got a little bit of um, criticism for it. I don't think Bavarsson's going to give you anything that Aidan couldn't. Look at, look at the stats. You've only got to look at the stats. Aidan is probably, what, two years younger than Bavarsson. Both wingers slash strikers. And I just think £750,000, you could give Aidan that chance that he wants to get into that first team as a striker. As I said, unfortunately, it's not a transfer that's bowling me over by any means. But listen, what do I know? I'm just a fat fan that goes to football matches. Hopefully, I'm wrong and he will be a hit. John Daddy, but Varson signs for Millwall. So that's your lot, boys and girls, for this latest transfer in. That's our fifth one this summer. And I've got to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. I think the gaffer's going to do the business now. I really do. I think he's aware of what the problems were. And he's doing his absolute best to bring in the players that he thinks are right for the club. So we've absolutely got to get behind him and the new squad. The players fly to Portugal today for the start of their summer pre-season camp. So I'm expecting it to go quiet on the transfer front for now. That gives me a chance to crack on with a documentary, get that wrapped up before the season starts in three weeks. Not long now, boys and girls. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you soon. Have a good weekend. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.